In today's story of Joseph in our series on Joseph, we're gonna discover that actions speak louder than words. And if our actions don't match our words, then trust gets broken. So as you listen to the Bible story today, listen to see how trust has been broken within the family and the brothers. See what you discover. In Genesis 42, this is what we are told. Well, there was no more food in all the land, but Jacob had heard that there was wheat in Egypt. And so he went to his sons and he said, what are you doing? You need to go to Egypt and you need to go and buy us some food. But he made the choice to keep Benjamin back with him. He didn't want to risk losing Benjamin since he was the only son left of his wife, Rachel. Well, the brothers went on and when they arrived in Egypt, they went to the person that was distributing the food and they bowed down before him, not realizing that it was Joseph. And as Joseph watched them, he remembered his dream. And he said to them, who are you and where do you come from? And they said, well, we're from the land of Canaan and we are um, from a good family. And he said, no, you're here to trick us. You're here to take our land. And they said, no, we tell you the truth. We have a younger brother back home and we have one brother that is gone, but we're speaking truth to you. And he said to them, this is how I'll know you speak the truth. I will test you in this. I will let one of you go back and you have to get your younger brother and bring him back to me. And then I'll know that you're speaking the truth. And he put them all in jail. And three days later, he returned. And when he showed up, he said to them, okay, I will keep one of you and the rest of you may go and you can take wheat with you, but you must bring back the younger brother for me to know that you are telling the truth. Well, the brothers began to argue amongst themselves and Reuben said, I told you, I told you we should have helped Joseph. We heard his, his cries and you guys wouldn't listen to me. Well, unknown to them, Joseph understood everything that they were saying. See, he had a person that was telling them everything that he said, so they didn't know. And it was getting to him, so he, he turned aside because he needed to cry. And after a moment of crying, he turned back and he said, you can go. But he kept Simeon and put him in jail. And he said, take wheat with you. He went to his servants. And he told his servants, I want you to put their money bag back in their sacks along with the wheat and food for their journey. And so his servants did exactly as he said. And when they loaded up their sacks and they went on their journey, they traveled all day and that night they decided to stop and rest. And when they stopped, they realized, um, one of them said, I'm gonna feed my donkey. And he opened up his bag and inside his bag, was his money back. And he said, my money is in my sack. And they all got very afraid. And they said, what is God doing? Well, they continued on their journey and they got to their father, Jacob, and they told him everything that happened, that they had arrived and that the man who was distributing the food got very mean with them and told them that if they did not bring back their brother, Benjamin, that he would not believe them. This upset Jacob so much. Well, the brothers were opening up their sacks and then they realized each of them had the bag of money that they had taken. And Jacob said, something's wrong. Everything's wrong. This is not right. And he, Joseph is gone. Simeon's in jail. And you want me to send Benjamin? I don't want anything to happen to Benjamin. He's the only son I have of Rachel. Well, Reuben said, please let me take care of Benjamin. Trust me with Benjamin. And his father said, no, Joseph is gone. Simeon's in jail and you want me to risk something happening to Benjamin? If that happened, I would be sad the rest of my life. 
May God honor the telling of his word. So as you think on this story, do you see how trust was broken? When we read the Bible, we can learn from the people how we can let our actions and our words match. That's why it's important for us to be in the Word, to be with Jesus and be transformed. Shalom, y'all.